So what we have here today is a 2001 Honda Civic and uh, the clear coat has failed badly on this car as you can see on the, on the trunk. Uh, this is actually down to paint. But this clear coat and oxidation is something we're going to have a go at so today. We are going to use some wet and dry sandpaper to see just how good a finish we can get. We've got similar uh, failure on the on the hood, not quite as extensive as this. First of all, we're going to give it a good scrub just with uh, soap and a sponge. Uh, then we're going to use wet and dry sandpaper at least 1200 grit because we don't want to scratch the paintwork even though this emulsion will take out fine scratches. Uh, we're going to try and feather all this back, get all this loose uh, clear coat off and then we'll apply the emulsion and uh, we'll see what happens. It's just a plain old sponge. Uh, this the soap solution we have here is Dawn dishwashing liquid and this will get the dirt and uh, some of the loose particles uh, off, then we'll give it a wet and dry uh, paper. This is uh, the wet dry sandpaper that we're going to use. It's a 3M product. You can see that this, this is particularly 1500 grit. It's quite fine and it certainly won't scratch the, uh, the paint. That's what we're going to use. But again, we're going to be pressing very lightly. Uh, and not for too long. We're just going to scrub it very lightly. You can't really see how much oxide you're taking off, but you can feel it. as much as you need to do for each area and again not pressing hard um, but you can then feel the surface which is now a lot smoother than it was before because you can feel the ridges in this clear coat um, so we'll just continue this for the whole car and uh, there's no change plenty of water and 1500 grit paper and uh, light rubbing this side of the uh, car also has got clear coat failure you can see all the way up there. Uh, we're going to give that a rub as well. Same technique. Plenty of water, 1500 grit paper, and a light scrub. That's about it. Uh, we now want to give this car a really good rinse uh, to make sure we've got all the debris, uh, the debris and soap, scum, and uh, the like. This footage is the, shows the car after the wet and dry sandpaper. You can see, still see the outline of the, uh, the clear coat failure, but the edges are smooth now rather than a ridge. This is the emulsion we're going to apply to this vehicle today, uh, using just a piece of, uh, a white piece of open weave cotton cloth. So this first coat is going to be uh, put on thinly, there's no point in trying to put it on in a thick layer because it will, uh, it will dry with ridges, so just a, a nice light coat, light white. That's all there really is to it. Alright, so we're going to apply a second coat. This is now three days later. We've given the car areas of wash and let it, uh, let it dry and now we're applying the, uh, the second coat. So my guess is the total time to do this truck is going to be about two minutes.
So that's it. I'll let that dry and uh, see, see how the finish comes up.